Lavin. And I'm Steve Rabel, reporting from my home and practicing social distancing because this coronavirus outbreak is not going to let up anytime soon. Not by a long shot. In fact, tonight, sobering predictions about the coronavirus from the University of Washington. A study by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation predicts more than 1,400 deaths in the state by August. It predicts coronavirus deaths will peak in 20 days and then decline into the summer. Right now, there are 3,200 confirmed cases in Washington and 147 people have died. Also today, Governor Jay Inslee said the federal government must do more to address a shortage of personal protective equipment for medical workers. A retired Navy vice admiral is now in charge of Washington's health care response to the coronavirus. Cairo 7's Essex Porter sat down tonight and talked about bringing the state's resources together to prepare for this big fight. Retired Vice Admiral Raquel Bono just came aboard Washington's battle against the coronavirus here at the Capitol, and we're about to find out why they call her Rocky. Vice Admiral Bono is a surgeon with decades of experience. Her last job in the military was coordinating the massive health care systems operated by the Army, Navy, and Air Force. She's just arrived in Washington to take up her new role as director of Washington's health response to COVID-19. We have to bring to bear all levels of the state from the, the state governor, governor's office to the medical associations to the different communities and both the public and private uh, sectors here. She'll coordinate with hospitals, assisted living centers, testing laboratories. We have tremendous talent, we have tremendous expertise, and we have tremendous skill. And the, the actual the challenge is, is how do you align all that? and synchronize it so we're all pulling, or if I could use a nautical term, so that we're all rowing in the same, in the same direction. She'll help determine where the military field hospitals on the way to Washington will be located. What we're looking at is we're looking at an early April timeline for when we can have those all together um, and, and put up and, and running. Governor Inslee has been tenacious in seeking the protective gear frontline caregivers need. Now, I've been talking to people with connections myself in China looking for the supplies. Admiral Bono is known for her tenacity too. There's a reason her nickname is Rocky. <laughs> yes. In what ways are you like the fictional boxer? Well, I don't think you'd want to mess with me. I think that most people that uh, have worked with me, they recognize that uh, that if, you know, Rocky is, is called to uh, to take care of something that I probably won't stop until it is taken care of. Collaboration whenever possible. Command if sometimes necessary. Admiral Bono is here to get the job done. In Olympia, Essex Porter, Cairo 7 News.